Good day. We're going to unbox again a new type of solis inverter. Now, this one is a hybrid on grid inverter, which is an upgrade or one of the latest model coming from solis, which is the S6, an upgrade of the previous iteration of the S5 RHI or the EP1 model. Now, this one is the S6 model which is a hybrid on grid but not capable yet of parallel this one is an L model EUL so let's check what's in store for us for this bad boy this is a bit bigger com compared to the previous hybrid off grid And right off the bat, what you can see is a quick, quick installation guide, which is the version that's S6 HI 1P 6KL. So this is an EU. It's not a Pro. The Pro is the latest version. This one is the replacement or the the new iteration for the s5 so it has a complete manual with it a quick guide some ports illustration uh, you have the connectivity on the app so you have to download the solis app and how do you place the meter so interesting now they have, don't have an LCD but only indicator lights. Let's open this and see for itself what's the difference on the previous model. I'm going to put the link on the right side or on the comment section also. Where can we see the S5 model? So it is a mounting bracket aluminum put the side up two cable batteries so I I think the same as Amphenol this is what 20 I, I, if I'm not mistaken it's 25 but we're going to take a closer look later it's a huge inverter it's a six kilowatt ah there it is cool uh, one is okay you have your mc4 you have an rj45 some connectivity links on your AC adapter for the bracket and for the output oh antenna for your Wi-Fi so it has a built-in antenna and the ever famous which they always placed a AC coupler, uh, RG45 coupler if you want to extend your meter. Very useful. So if your meet, if your tapping point is way beyond uh, 5 meters, you can go as high as 50 uh, from the tapping point of your meter. This is very useful. So you don't have to uh, rewire. All you have to do is to crimp a uh, regular RG45 and that's it. You can extend inverter to meter so second is uh, connectivity i think this is for your meter bts if you're using a lead acid and your meter is this so 
they now have from Acryl now they have changed to Eastron so SDM 120 CT so it comes with a CT already and the split core is 100 amperes by let me see 120 uh, 100 milliamperes also so that's translate to around 2000 okay so let's put this on the side so we all know it's it has all the accessories on the side so it doesn't have any more LCD now on this side these are the indicator lights you have two huge oh here aha uh -huh. so it's your S I think this is an S2 it's too small but I'll put the side of the picture the bigger picture so that we will see also right now it comes with the USB so this button huge so, open this doesn't have any fan so it's pure heat sink it's huge pure heat sink so you got your AC grid in AC back up you have your antenna and your Wi-Fi communication so I think this one is for other connectivity now we have the battery and the TV PV on the side, you have an external. Yeah, it's really heavy. So it has a PV switch in here, and same goes with your nameplate. So it's it's really a, a departure from a different design perspective from the LCD of the S5 which is really huge right now they remove it and all everything now is placed or controlled by the application so this app huge and heavy Just a recap, you have the, oh by the way, the front panel is plastic, same with the S5. So we have the mounting bracket, your battery cable which is So it's 
Okay, so it's 2AWG. 2A, uh, yeah. 2WG. It's huge. So a departure from the previous, which is only 25 mm. This one, I think, is 35 mm. So we have battery, meter to meter to inverter connection, your Wi-Fi, accessories, your meter, and your BTS. And last and um, lastly is your manual guide. So thumbs up.